the end of the 80s brought with it the third generation of the 5 Series. Exceptional quality, technology, comfort and dynamics signify this 5 Series. In the development of the vehicle, there is an enormous expenditure. Our research engineers drove over 7 million kilometers in the desert, in Lapland, and through the Alps to really discover any small difficulty. There were more than 120 prototypes and 500 pre-series vehicles. To better understand the third generation of the 5 Series, you have to know that it was developed together with the 7 Series that had come two years before. For this reason, the 5 Series of the third generation also adopted, in many parts, the design of the 7 Series. For the first time, the characteristic BMW kidney joined the body. The silhouette is wedge-shaped, with a deep front and a higher rear. You can see that this vehicle was designed with regard to aerodynamics. With an air drag coefficient of 0.3, the car remained a benchmark for many years. The interior is more luxurious and larger than its predecessor. The cockpit driver oriented. Plenty of technology characterizes this generation. We have innovations like ellipsoid headlights for better illumination of the roadway with less stray light. We also have driving assistance systems like the ASC and ASC Plus T. That means there are a lot of electronic helpers that originated here and positioned the BMW 5 Series as a high-tech vehicle. The 5 Series of the third generation also had considerable changes under the hood. The engine lineup ranges from the 4 to the 8 cylinder. We have for the first time with the BMW 5 Series the range between a 518i and the V8 model starting in 92. That means from 113 to 286 horsepower. Since then we always have a large variety of motors. In 1991, BMW offers for the first time the 5 Series as a Touring. A lifestyle wagon in the upper mid-range class with lots of space and variability. With the 5 Series Touring, our goal was clearly to gain the corresponding market potential in this premium segment. Of course, in a BMW-specific manner. This can be seen, for example, with the very special hatchback with a rear window that opens separately. Also added at this time a very special sunroof, and so on. Things that you couldn't find with our competitors back then. In 1991, the BMW 5 Series also came on the market with all-wheel drive. The revolutionary thing was the first electronic distribution control. It was completely variable and could be distributed between the front and the rear axle, and that was unrivaled amongst our competition. It was an important technological step because we introduced a technology that we're still using today, of course further developed. It was also, at the same time, the start of our fulfillment of customer requests from the USA, specifically in comparison to all the SUVs that came out back then. So that was more or less our first response. A special highlight are these two 5 Series. The artist Matazo Kayama and Esther Malangu designed two vehicles that have enriched the BMW art car collection since the start of the 90s. With the third generation of the 5 Series, BMW climbed to the top of the upper mid-range class. Until 1996, this generation of vehicles was sold approximately 1.3 million times. <laughs>